guys, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you guys know, support for Windows 7 ended in January of 2020. Despite the end of support, Microsoft has continued to offer security updates in the form of an extended security update program for businesses still transitioning to Windows 10 or Windows 11. Despite the extended security program, Microsoft plans to end it in January of 2023, meaning that after that point, Windows 7 computers will no longer receive any updates in any way, shape, or form. Given the age of Windows 7, it's safe to say that most programs, including antivirus softwares and web browsers, will no longer be compatible with Windows 7 in the coming years, leaving various security risks unpatched. This presents a problem for various businesses and medical centers, many of which still use Windows 7 to this day due to compatibility or security issues. This video will help those still using Windows 7 protect their computer and safely navigate the web. First and foremost, let's talk about web browsers. Not only is Internet Explorer outdated, but it won't even display most web pages anymore. If you're using a newer browser, like Google Chrome, the lack of security updates still leaves you at a risk. Not to mention Google plans to end support for Windows 7 and 8.1 next year, early next year, in an update. One alternative to Chrome is an open source browser called Brave. Brave is a faster browser that combines the vast array of extensions of Google Chrome with security and speed. Brave blocks third-party cookies and cross-site trackers and even has a built-in ad blocker and Tor browser. One thing to take note of is that just like Google Chrome, Brave will no longer support Windows 7 with a coming update early next year. Because of this, I may make a follow-up video explaining which programs are still compatible with Windows 7 and which programs will be phasing out support for Windows 7 in the coming years. Now that Windows 7 is no longer supported by Microsoft, Windows 7 users are at a greater risk of viruses, many of them designed to exploit unpatched holes within the system. One way to provide a partial form of protection is to download old updates released by Microsoft before the January of 2020 end of support. These updates can be found on a website called the Microsoft Update Catalog, a database containing updates for Windows versions as early as Windows XP. All you have to do is type in Windows 7 and you will be given links to downloadable files containing updates for Windows 7 from 2019. Do keep in mind that these updates do not provide a full form of protection, but they are new enough to provide some partial degree of protection for your computer. Let's move on to antivirus. Some antivirus softwares, including McAfee, no longer support Windows 7. However, other forms of antivirus software, including Total AV and Avast, still support Windows 7. To check if your preferred antivirus software still supports Windows 7, go to their website and check their system requirements. So these are just a few ways to keep Windows 7 safe and secure after the January of 2023 end of security updates. One thing to keep in mind is that these measures are not complete and Windows 7 will still be vulnerable to various viruses. So it's important to be careful when browsing the web and avoid sketchy download links and files. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.